Well, I am here at the Justice Center where the average daily population is 43 youth in custody. Today, council members said they appreciated the committee's research into alternatives, but they still raised questions about closing the detention facility. No detention is causing harm. We know detention is expensive. It is always the right time to do the right thing. It does not produce good outcomes. In the past, it's King County's not, executive not said he's committed to ending the use of jail for children and youth. An advisory committee's been examining alternatives. I think it's a fantasy and I don't think it will work at all. Council member Reagan Dunn is against closing the youth detention center. And he's a critic of the recommendation to create a network of community care homes where youth would stay while their court case proceeds. The conversation spanned the spectrum of people saying no locked door to no unlocked door, yeah. right? The vast majority is in between. And everybody understands that the first thing is safety. I just don't see it, not with the level of violence going on in the community right now. King County data shows last year juveniles committed 177 violent felonies. That's up 57 percent from 2022 and up 146 percent from 2021. Enough. Seattle Enough. police video shows some of the recent juvenile crimes. As a community, we should do everything we can to reduce youth incarceration. But this King County Superior Court judge says a variety of options are needed. The detention facility is one of those tools that we have to use sometimes because of the circumstances of a case. Um, we don't use that tool lightly. Um, it is one of the tools we use at, as a last resort. As the debate continues in this room, some say King County must move with urgency. Our children are experiencing every minute of their day in detention, every single minute as we take our time. Now, the advisory committee says they received input from nearly 1,800 community members, but they say their county will still need some time to finalize recommendations on alternatives. Joyce? And what is the county's timeline, Natalie, for closing this youth detention center? Well, initially, the stated goal was to close by 2025, but now the advisory committee says it won't happen until at least 2028 at the earliest. Joyce? Natalie Swaby reporting for us tonight in Seattle.